Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Con of Cons in Crusader Kings 2. So we still have not yet held the Nerj. I want to try that at some point. We're also trying to kill some dude who, uh... He's imprisoned by us already. I guess we don't need to try to murder him anymore. That was probably the, uh, event spawned re rebellion or something. Now, I do want to straighten up our, our realm a little bit. Itil, or Il Ili, I guess it's called. Should be ours. Kill... no, can't kill you. Do you have a whole... F you probably have a family. A family and children. Well, you're all gonna die. It's mine. I want it. I want to clean that up. I also want to get rid of some of these other dukes, like the High Chief of Merv. Should really not be ours. Should not be our direct vassal, so to do that we'll need to murder him. Or, we could um, revoke titles. Now, the thing is that our topmost kings love us, and we can revoke as many titles as we want and they won't care. But, the problem is that your court, which has 148 people in it, are all capable of murdering you, and they will hate me like crazy if I... You know, we got a whole bunch of evil tyrant modifiers, and... For some reason, this is not really sorting in order, even though I keep telling it to. It's like... See, it's in order, it's in order, it's in order, and then there's just like randomly... Negative 14, negative 29. I don't know why that's not right. Anyway. Anyway... Um, we're in the midst of winning this war over here with this dude. We just need to siege down this province. And, um, uh, we're already at 71%, so the question is, will we... Oh, hey, look at that, we got assault. How ideal. Let's threaten to scare him off there. Navigate around that major river crossing, and then we'll go fight him if we need a little bit more war score. But once we occupy the top holding here, we should be ready to end the war. Yeah, we need a little bit more war score. Apparently I had another army coming in that I forgot about. Cool. Expect speed 4. For some reason the game never remembers what speed you're on, and uh... I always have to force it. Speed up again. Some guy's no longer the educator of our daughter. Okay, who's it gonna be this time? My kinsman. Good luck. Have fun with my daughter. In the right kind of way. Alright, you have something of Mind Siege, which is probably part of the reason why we're not up to 83, up to 100%. Yep, Brianska's worth like 9%. A few bad battles. Alright, I guess we're gonna just siege these down. Maybe a little bit while longer. Where do you live? Okay, we have an army up there. Our vassals should take care of it if they're strong enough. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, I renamed the kingdoms. So it's no longer Cumania, it is the North, and the West, and the South. I tried King of the North, I tried Kingdom of the North, I tried uh, Khan of the North. What I liked the most was when, when I just said the North, then it made it so that this guy is Khan, whatever his name is, of the North, which I like. So we're going to call it of the North. I also gave this some adjectives, so we're seeing a, <laughs> a sneaky revolt, um, because... That's just... I, I like adjectives, they're fun. Instead of saying, like, Kumanian Revolt, it's gonna say... Sneaky. It's the Sneaky Revolt. And then these guys over here... Uh, the Kingdom of the West, they are the Dastardly. And the South is... Silly. So, yeah. I don't know why I, I find that so funny. I mean, you can see that the King of the North has... Quite a few troops mobilized, I'm not sure what he's up to. Probably check that out. Let's go find out. He's defending... Oh, he's defending against the sneaky civil war. <laughs> the sneaky civil war. That's great. Oh, I'm easily entertained, aren't I? Alright, we're up to 93%. Could you go ahead and surrender yet? Please. And we're technically at 20%, but this guy is about to win his first siege. Did we already raise these guys' troops? We did not. Okay. Alright, there doesn't appear to be good supply really anywhere. We will disband one of the armies and then send 5,000 over with a few guys. We'll grab a, uh, I guess we'll grab you, sure. And then we'll grab the flanker guy. Alright, I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged. We'll do nothing. I, I don't think they're actually in a faction. Damn it, now the supply is really low here. Well, some of the northern troops are going to die. That's all there is to it. Ah, it's a second Mongolian Orthodox invasion. Revolt thing. 
99%. Really? Really? What are the chances? So, old longer, old Tengri revolt now. Alright, so this is the Duchy of Smolensk. We will create it. This is the Duchy of Vyak something. We cannot create it because we only hold one title. Okay, this was part of the King of the... I think I decided that was of the North, right? Yeah. Now, we're still going to have to deal with the fact that this guy created the Khan. He, he created the Kingdom of Volga, Bulgaria. But we'll deal with that issue later. I mean, we'll, we'll have to just find a problem, find a way to solve it. And we'll hold on to these titles for now. We have a very small domain limit. Centralization. What exactly does this do for us? We can have more vassals and more stuff. So it appears to me like medium centralization would be the point where it's just beneficial. Or no, okay. Cent low centralization gives 10. So it's just whatever you want more of. I mean, if you want to have a high personal levy, personal gear, or personal domain, I don't care. We're only going to ever hold a very small domain. Doesn't matter. The strength in the realm is always in your vassals, in their opinion of you, not, not your personal levy. And generally speaking, when you raise your personal levy, it just causes problems, like rebellions are more likely to fire if you use your own personal troops, that kind of thing. A very small independence faction. And then we have some retinue up here. We got the Orthodox Uprising. Send you guys around to take care of that. Did you guys take care of this rebellion? You did, but... We'll do that. That's all retinue. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. Whatever's not retinue in there. Alright, so we got you, retinue, retinue. I'm assuming this is a retinue. Success. Okay, so that was this guy. Murder the boy. Let's continue killing small children. Every, I mean, it's status quo, really. It's just part of what happens. We have three re rebellions happening at the same time right now. I think it's time to conquer Russ again. Although he still has 33,000 men, let's let's ignore him. Can we declare war? We still have, according to this, 5,000 troops raised. That's these guys over here. They'll be gone by the 28th. We won't be there till the 7th. We have an organizer. We do. Maybe we'll be able to catch him. As we get our morale up, we speed up. Third. Talk to him about kindness. There we go. Get him. Put him down. Close enough for me, I mean... Alright, so we have no levy raised. We've got 36,000. Let's check the, uh, the state of our vassal armies. So the Khan of the South can provide us with... Now what the hell? Okay, hold on here. I remember... Okay. Minus 20, minus 40. Why is it that the Khan of the South has a cap of 80% and the Khan of the North or the Khan of the West has a cap of 60%? The Khan of the North is at 80%. So what is it about this thing of the West that's causing it to have an extra modifier reducing max levy? Could it maybe be the laws that he has? I don't know. I, I mean, that's really kind of weird. I understand that there's some issues with the fact that Mongolia has no de jure vassals, so that could be somehow related to it, but... Oh well. 20,000 troops, that's a lot of men. You should go on a little invasion, sir. Abbasid. His 5,000 men would be an easy little conquest for him. 
All right, so we will split, split. Uh, yeah, I think we can actually get by with um, the smallest increment, which is the 2800. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we're capable of just moving in and sieging every province. My co-conspirator has managed to get near one of the mates. For a princely sum, we shall kill him. Alright, so he did call in his next door neighbor. Probably to be expected. He's got 17,000 troops. I guess we'll need a few more men then. Okay, King of the West, why don't you contribute your troops, which is not very many. Move you there. We probably can't cover the siege then. Nah, let's, um, let's wait until they've arrived in their next province over. We got caught. I guess we should be dishonorable. It's okay. Such is life. I want to do five stacks now. So five. We almost have enough for four or five stacks. And this army can come down. Khan of the North. I could really kind of use your help down here too. You're only 6,000 men though. Is that really as strong as you could be? You could be up to eight. Alright, well. Let's bring them down. Let's bring our retinue around. As well. Mongolian Orthodox Revolt has failed. Terrible, terrible supply in our own territory. There's a highway robber band. This place is not doing so well. Okay, so that's pretty much all of our troops raised. We'll keep the weak one in the middle. Kind of surround him a bit. And, uh... I really don't need to siege this, so we're gonna we're gonna have to keep the armies nearby to like help each other, but we are gonna move every single army into the war goal. The war country. Where do you where, where's this rebellion at? Of course. Alright, I'm gonna have to repurpose this king army of the of the north this task. First, and then we'll re raise it. Let's grab our organizer, grab this guy, grab that guy, and go fight that off. I don't want to use my own men, that'd be crazy. Alright, we've got... how much retinue cap? We're only at 10 out of 2 point... Uh, out of 24,000. And we are making one ducat a year. Retinue upkeep right now is at half maintenance. So at half maintenance we make exactly one ducat. It's not very good. We could enact a, a feudal administration. Sure, see what happens. I kind of feel like you're supposed to have one or the other. So I don't really know what that actually does. Whatever. Go with my blessing, my boy. Whoever you are. Random man. Random person. Guy. Okay, yeah, so he's actually kind of strong. I mean, he brought in quite a few friends. He's got 32,000 men. I just wanted to kill the Abbasids. I mean, what's wrong with that? What's your problem, dude? And I'd like to get some more retinue. The only drawback to doing the King of the North, King of the South thing, aside from having to, like, murder people and, uh, pay a lot of attention to it, is that you do have to kind of prune the realm for money every now and then, because you, you don't have a lot of direct taxation.
even with our high feudal taxes, it's still not very much. Gotta resume that siege. You guys ready to come down yet? Come on. Let's get down there. I'm assuming we've won up here. Maybe we never even engaged him. Our son, we can either make brave or honest or potentially kill him. Very likely to become honest or brave. Go ahead. Come brave. Seems like a reasonable risk to me. Either he dies or he gets better. If he gets if he dies, then we just make a new one. Okay, you are coming to Karbala. Let's appoint a few leaders. And it looks like we're going to have to break off our sieges. At age 20, Genghis Morgan died in battle. That's kind of sad. So that's going to be 10, 15. I would have really liked to finish these sieges. Hey, I've become ambitious. And we're winning this fight by enough. But I feel justified in maintaining that siege. We'll send half the army to rout him. Continue to kill whatever's left. Oh, part of it went the other way. Never mind. Okay. We'd be done with you yet. Excellent. Come on down. Alright, cool. Well, um, one thing I think we could do is we could go through and imprison all of our counts that are plotting. We could make a ton of money for that and make a bunch more retinue. It does feel kind of cheap. Let's do it. And actually, at this point, we, we can even imprison dukes now, too. So long as they're underneath us. Underneath our kings. We know of a plot. What? I have the um, I have a plot to fabricate a claim on the high chief. What are you talking about? I don't. That's not true. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why is that on there? What are you talking about game? You're crazy. Go home. You're drunk. All right. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.